you, beloved of God. I welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This award in season will pass to flourish. God bless you for picking this video. You are not here by accident. God brought you here for a purpose. Please, people of God, if today is your first time here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. God will richly bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, another prophetic moment. Good tidings I bring your way once again. Yet, child of God, I have a good news for you. Because you have been broken down, your spirit has been well down because of so many thoughts. I'm here to tell you, by the mercy of God, your past will not swallow your present and your future in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I mean your ugly past will not swallow your present and your future in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mercy of the Lord will prevail in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't allow evil thoughts to program negativity in your heart to think that God cannot forgive you your past, that your past cannot be forgotten by God. Yes, child of God, no matter what you have done, yes, God is ready to forgive you your sins. Yes, God is ready to let go of your past. Children of God, don't dwell on your past. God is much more interested in your future. Yes, but his mercy is interested much more in your future. What you will become, that is what God is much more interested. He's not interested in your past. Your past is already in your past. Let go. Don't dwell there. Child of God, if you hold your hands with your past, you will not have hands to hold your glorious future. Yes, child of God, as you sincerely call on God to all to forgive you your sins, He will let go your past in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, God's word says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 3 to 4, let no mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the table of your heart, and so find favor and esteem in the sight of God. Amen. Yes, child of God, one thing God is much more interested in, in our lives, concerning our past. Even as we are asking for his mercy, we should be truthful about it for us not to go back to those things again. Yes, let no mercy and truth forsake you. <laughs> Bind them around your neck. This is what God wants you to do. As you are asking him for mercy, you also bind it also with truth. Be truthful about it. Yes. Be truthful about it that you have let it go. And God, by his mercy, will show forth in your life in the name of Jesus. Mercy means to be combined with truth and sincerity. Yes. Truth and sincerity need to be combined with mercy. I think you believe that you have been blown so bad in your life you are blowing things up so badly in your life in time past. there's no hope for you you believe so beloved of god there's hope for you in god yes there's hope for you in christ god is interested who whom you will become yes that is what god will in, is interested after you have asked for his mercy yes because he believes that you are potentials yes a potential to live a better life, to live a life that is pleasing unto Him. God knows you have it. Yes, the grace is made available to you, child of God. He has never stopped being merciful. That is who He is. God is a merciful Father. So He will let go of your past. So don't hold on strongly to your past. Yes, correct your mistakes and move ahead. Move with the Lord. Because as you ask him for mercy, he will definitely have mercy on you, child of God. God bless you, beloved of God. As you sincerely ask God for his mercy, he will show forth for you. He will show you his mercy. Yes, his love for you is so mighty. God's word says the mercy of the Lord, they are new every morning. God bless you, beloved of God. May the peace that only Jesus 
brings rule and reign in your heart as you ask God for his mercy in Jesus' name. Remain blessed. Amen.